Well, I can't really remember what we were supposed to do now. It's been a while since I've recorded. Let's see. Oh, that's right. Letter to Fishmail. We still got the melody. Okay. Hey, guys, I'm Colorful Arty, but you already knew that. Let's be honest. If you're watching episode, like, 12 of Paper Mario or something like that, you've been watching the other ones. Oh, I don't usually ask for favors, but I've got a hankering for some Koopa Tea. It's the very best. Fetch a bit for me, would ya? Uh, Koopa Tea can be made with only a fresh Koopa Leaf, which you can find in the village. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I forgot we had already uh, talked to him. Do we have a Koopa Leaf with us? We do not. We also need to... Sorry, Mario. I know that can't have been pleasant. Wee. There we go, Koopa Leaf. Alright, time to go to Toad Town! Yeah, we'll probably be doing more side questing stuff in this episode. Actually, we definitely will, since we already are. But, to be fair, we will also go to the third world in this uh, episode. Hey, Tasty, you remember this recipe. Kind of wish I hadn't drank the Koopa tea in uh, Dry Dry Ruins. Should have eat. Actually, well, no. He also wants the nutty cake, so I couldn't have eaten that. Well, we've got some stuff to do over here. Mario to the rescue! Oh boy, this doofus. Stay still, Chris, you hide. On the hook with me. To hurt only a minute, you blasted little wriggler. Get it out, you hear? I ain't gonna be bait. Leave off! Come on now! Uh, addressing to a person fishing at the port. Ah, this must be you. The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. Hope you appreciate it, dude. Hmm? What's this, then? Shiver me timbers. Word from Culver. Moth teeth that he wrote a letter to. Everyone's got the fishing bug. Time for a fishing trip. You should come along, Mario. Yar, that reminds me. I got a favor to ask. Could you deliver this to him? Hmm? Why the Koopa Turbo ask you to bring the letter to me? Cover the name. Yar, and take good care for you, the love of fishes. Let's never talk to that guy again. I know it's my own fault for making that accent. Ooh, say, that's so... Uh, that's music, no? Yes. Hmm. Oh, yes, 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 it's the best. With this music, we rejoice, for it will give Pop Diva voice. Now, Chantarelle, please do tell. Will you sing this new song? Come now, we can't wait long. Oh, it's perfect. So beautiful. But, what if I can't sing it? Hey, hey, it'll be okay. You can do it. Nothing to it. Be courageous. Sing it loud. Warble on, sweet and proud. Yes. I will try to sing. Ah, uh, okay. Beautiful. And we couldn't even hear the lyrics. Bravo, hear, hear, that sweet song has brought me to tears. To Mario, our greatest thanks because of you, Pop Diva Cranks. I can sing, Lodi. I'm overjoyed. Thank you, you saved me, Mario. I wish I could do more, but here's a small gift. Please treasure it. And we get the Attack FXD badge. Some say my, that's not worth it, but you know. Makes that little chime now. Ah, uh, there's nothing else to do at the port. Nope. Time to go back to Koopa Village. Whee! Because, well, Koopa Koot needs that tea. We might meet Chuck Gizmo. And we need to deliver the letter to Cooper. I'm so glad I've got Speedy Spin on. 
Seriously, Speedy Spin is an amazing badge. There you go. Koopa Tea. Great growling gulpits! You defy comparison, Mario! Wondrous! Excellent! Mmm, this hits the spot. You know, this tea is just as delicious iced as it is hot. You're a stand-up guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors. This time I'll give you this special gift as thanks. Don't tell anybody, though. I've got a reputation to keep. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. And we have free star pieces. Oh, what luck! You came at the perfect time, young man! Could you see your way to doing me another favor? Sure. Oh, how very kind of you. I guess the younger generation isn't so bad after all. Dude, I've done you like ten favors now. I've got a secret wish to get the great Luigi's autograph. He's your brother, right? That young fella is truly super! Have you seen him jump? They should call him Air Luigi. If you could somehow get his autograph, I'd be really happy. Could you help, young fella? Aw, oh, that's nice. Luigi is his own fan. Unfortunately, we can't actually talk to Luigi right now because he's, um... Vanished from our house for some reason. There he is! I knew I'd be seeing God, where is Chuck Gizmo? <laughs> Question! What color are Luigi's pants? They're blue. That's correct! Seriously, you asked me about Luigi's pants after the Goomba King's pants? What's with his obsession with pants? That's kind of weird. Alright. Hey, Coover! There you go. Oh, thanks! Cool, it's from my pal! This must be the answer to my last letter. Thanks for the speedy delivery. Now I can send letters to the whole gang. Oh, it'll be great meeting up with all the guys and fishing up a storm. I've already written one. Here, can you take it? It's to Mr. E, who lives in the desert. He'll most likely be hanging out in front of the Toad House. He wears a blue turban. You'll probably notice him right off the bat. Thanks for everything. Alright, Mr. E. Not to be confused with Mr. Ed. Mr. E is not a talking horse. Doom, doom, doom. And thankfully, Treasure Outpost is just a pipe away. There he is. I love this town. I don't care that the desert's so harsh. There's no place like home. I was born in Dry Dry Outpost, and this is where I'll stay. You're Mr. E, correct? I'm Perry Carey. I've got a letter for you. Boop, 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 boop. Gee, thanks. Oh, looks like an order from Koopa Village. My job is delivering things from Dry Dry Outpost. This guy's a great customer. He's always ordering stuff. Hey, by the way, would you do me a favor and deliver this letter to the next time you're in Toad Town? It's to Miss T. She lives there. She's one of the three amazingly beautiful sisters. She's normally chatting with her sisters in front of the dojo. Thanks a lot! Alright. Sounds like someone's got a girlfriend. Or just a crush. Hey, wait a second. The Toad sisters are here. Kawiz! Everyone's favorite gizmo, Chuck Gizmo! Question. How many members are there in Gubario's family? Ah, uh, there's uh, the two parents, the two grandparents, and the two kids, so six! Correct! Actually, the answer is eight. We didn't meet their great-grandparents. And we've correctly answered nine questions so far! Oh, here we go. The Toad Sisters. We've seen this before. Is it you? Oh, there are two different sets of Toad Sisters. Okay. I like how we're seeing Chuck Gizmo everywhere, though. We need to see him a lot if we want to get all 64 star pieces from him. Oh. Rolf, please. Please, Rolf. Darn it, Rolf! I want the Jump Charge Badge! Unless I already have it. No, I don't have it. Move it, Toad! I've got an important mail delivery to make. Okay, that's right, these Toad Sisters. 
Hey, don't you think there have been fewer stars in the sky lately? You know, with so few stars, everyone's wishes aren't going to come true. Yeah, totally. You think that Bowser found a way to steal our stars? Oh no, I hope not. I have so many wishes. Mostly I want some cool boots. Please give me cool boots. Please give me cool boots. Please give me cool boots. I won't wish for anything else. Teehee. No, it's gotta be her. You must T correct, I'm Paracary, and you've got a stalker who wrote a letter to you. Who's this from? I don't think I recognize the return address. Oh well, I'm always getting love letters from strangers. I'm super popular. I'm so sorry. But enough about me. I'm so lucky that, it's, that you just came now, Mr. Postman. Will you do me a favor? I want you to deliver this letter to the shop owner at Dry Outpost. I order lots of things from the desert. They have so much good stuff. It's not easy staying this beautiful. It takes work. Will you please deliver this? Thanks! Well, gotta deliver this to Mr. Mouse. And by that, I mean Jerry. Seriously, how come Ralph has never shown off the Jump Charge badge? That's a really good badge. Like, almost cheaply good. Wee. Hi, guy. Welcome, traveler. This is the renowned Little Mouser's shop. We're gonna buy. And so, you want to spend some loot? Stay in front of the item you want to buy and press A. I'm proud to offer quality items at low, low prices. No other shop can compare with my prices. You're the only shop in Dry Dry Outpost. You're the owner of the shop, correct? I'm Perry Carey, and I've got an order for you. Please fill it. Oh, thanks. Yeah, this is an order sheet from one of my regulars. Good deal. She's one of my best customers. She orders things all the time. If health and beauty are what you're after, you can't beat desert lemons and limes. You can find them in the Oasis. Oh, if you make a juice with those things? Mmm. -hmm. Oh, hang on, almost forgot. Can you do me a favor? Please deliver this letter to a boo named Frankie. Frankie lives in a mansion way out on the far edge of Forever Forest. It may be tough to find him. Thanks. Frankie and Boo's mansion. Alright, we. I think we are efficient. I'm not buying a dusty hammer. Those things stink. It's literally worse than just a single throw of the hammer throw badge, but it takes up a whole item slot. Alright. We also can go this way now. Ooh! Snowman doll! It's snowman that crushes all enemies. Attack power 4. Those come in very much in handy later on in the game. Platforms to move up. We can go for this pipe. A dizzy dial, huh? Yeah, no thanks. Oh man, those guys are fast. Oh, I knew there were Paragloombas. I knew it. This is a Paragloomba. Paragloombas are nasty winged Gloombas who make their home in the Toad Tunnels. Max HP 7, attack power 2, defense power 0. Just like Paragoombas, Paragloombas will lose their wings when attacked, and then they fall and become Gloombas. I love damage dodge. Well, this is going to be a boring fight. Sorry. Doom, 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 doom. I promise you it'll get more exciting once we actually start entering Forever Forest. But I want to get all the side quest stuff now. Because I'm about to get a very nice badge. Smash that Gloomba! Give me three star points, please, and thank you. I love being able to kill Buzzy Beals just by hitting them with a hammer. It feels so wrong. Ooh! We're well on our way to a level up.
Let's hit that, jump on this trampoline, and we get... The Power Smash Badge! Attacks an enemy using lots of attack power. It's basically power jump, but for your hammer. And because my hammer is much more powerful than my jump right now, I am totally equipping that. So we'll let those guys walk. Then we can go up here. Secret pathway up here. And we get a super block. Well, I actually have to upgrade Paracarry now, I guess. Paracarry gets upgraded to super rank, so he deals a bit more damage, and now he's got an ability which he can potentially carry away an enemy just instantly. However, that won't give you any star points. Hey, dude. Oh, no, I got hit by a Paragloomba. Oh, the shame. Yeah, so if I were to do Power Smash with my hammer, that would deal six damage. That's very good. And I'll get a level up from this fight. Took that. Woo! Alright, time to level up FP. Hey, hey, looks like it's time for Paracarry. Uh-oh. Also, you can stop Paracarry's flight short by pushing down C again, but I don't really see why you would do that. Alright, yeah, we'll fight him. <laughs> All right, we get money. Cool. Let's get out of here. Also, we can go down this pipe. Something interesting down here. Check it out. We haven't seen blocks like those before. Yeah, we're not going to be able to destroy those blocks until we get an even better hammer than the one we already have. Do -do 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 -do. Take the spiky Gloomba! Die! Something tells me we are over-leveled for Forever Forest and we are not going to get very ma many star points for the enemies there. And also, yeah, we have not seen Twink yet. I don't think he comes. I never really thought about it before, but he comes after, like, every other world except this one. <laughs> Ooh, this will be a great time to show off Bombette's special move. Alright, so first I'm going to use Quake Hammer. Now, Bombette's new ability, Power Bomb. Yeah! <laughs> that is such a good ability. <laughs> yes! I am getting good at that. Might as well save our FP. Would you do the honors? So now she deals free damage with her attack. Which th that's kind of why I like Gumbario at super rank better than other guys because Gumbario can now deal four damage with his attack as opposed to just free like all my other partners. 
Alright, enough of the side quest stuff. Actually, I should probably deposit some of my items at the shop. For Actually, we don't get anything in Forever Forest, so we'll be fine. Ah! Boo! Just now, a ghost passed right in front of me! Uh, you saw it, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Uh, I'm not the only one! Over there! No, no, the other way! It went into the forest. M Mario, this madness has to end. Will you go into the forest and see what's going on? I'm ashamed to say it's my job, but I just can't go. I'm too frightened of ghosts. P please, I'm begging you. Yeah, that guy's a nervous wreck. We better go in after him. And man, this forest is really eerie. It turned to night immediately. Pardon me, sir. Would you happen to be Mario? How do you do, sir? My master wishes to see you. If you would, please call on us at the mansion on the far side of Forever Forest. My master would also like me to add that she has in her possession important news regarding the Star Spirits. Please make haste. We shall await your arrival with a warm welcome. And if you don't come, we'll get you! Boo! I've got my thumbnail. Chapter 3, The Invincible, Tabba Blubba. And Dane Forever Forest has such an eerie ambiance. I love it. Forever Forest and Toad Town. So, the, gimm the gimmick of Forever Forest is all the screens pretty much look the same. And there are four different ways to go each time. Which way do you go? Uh, three of them are the incorrect way, which will take you just back to the start of the forest. One of them is the correct way. How do you figure out which one's correct? Odd stuff like that will happen. There are also a lot of hidden badges in this area. Hmm. What do you think you're doing? This is Forever Forest. The path ahead of here is extremely dangerous. Didn't you know that? You'd better go back. Okay, so that's your story. You're invited to Boo's Mansion. You may pass, then. Listen carefully. If you want to get through this forest, you'll have to pay really close attention to your surroundings. If you choose the wrong paths, you'll end up back at the forest edge before you know it. The areas around the correct pathways will always look slightly different from the others. Watch carefully for clues. For example, in this area, take a good look at the inner trees as you walk around. In one of them, you'll spot a strange, glowing eyes. The exit near that tree is the path you want to take. These clues will be different from the other paths in the forest. Watch the inner forest very, very carefully as you go. Thanks for telling us that after we had already had to go through one. Mario, don't look now, but I think I saw an eye shining deep inside the hole in that tree. Which tree? Oh yeah, fuzzies are back. Fun. Let's kill one first before tattling on the other. Also, green fuzzies are more powerful. No, they're not, actually. I lied. Okay, I guess we're not tattling on him. Thank you, Miss, uh, Merle? Yeah, Merle. Well, we'll face plenty more forest fuzzies. Ooh, you saw those eyes in the tree? That means that's the way we need to go. Oh boy. This is a forest fuzzy. Forest fuzzies are always green. Max HP 6, attack power 1, defense power 0. If they grab hold of you, they'll absorb your FP and add it to their own. They're fiends, those no good. Oh, and they sometimes divide. If they divide, they become even stronger, so try to beat them before they can split. Alright, this looks like a pretty good time for Power Bomb, but unfortunately... No, you know what? This looks like a good time for Power Bomb. I forgot they only had 6 HP as opposed to 7. 
There we go. Yay! Blow him to smithereens, Bombat. Two star points apiece, not bad. But man, Power Bomb eats through your FP very fast. Nope, no more fuzzies. Alright. Yeah, see that hollow tree with the eyes? Let's go this way. <laughs> and hey, Alcove in here. Listen careful. Oh, that's right. He'll just say that again. Let's tattle on him. I've never tattled on him. The flowers in this forest are unusual, huh? They're strangely colored and they look creepy when they move. I think I saw some that were a slightly different color over there. Did you see them? Oh, Gumario gives you a lot of hints. This is Oakley. He lives in Forever Forest. He guards the entry to Forever Forest to prevent wanderers from getting lost. He helps any townsfolk who get lost inside. That beard. For some reason, I feel like yanking it. I feel like it's a fake beard. Oh, gee, I wonder which way we need to go. Actually, wait a second. Yeah, those look different. I'm keeping my eye out because there are several hidden things, but there's nothing hidden there. Oh, that's right. Make sure you get this guy. Hey, hello there. I'm a bubble from the land called Flower Fields. A flower seed? <laughs> should I give it to you or shouldn't I? Well, I suppose I'll give it to you. Here you go. And we get the magical seed. Please point it somewhere nice and take extra good care of it. If you point it somewhere bad and I find out about it, I might place a curse on you. <laughs> well, that guy's kind of weird. Oh, it's a bubble. The flower we saw must be at the top of his head. He hands out seeds. I'm willing to bet these seeds are really important. Let's point them, Mario. All right, fine. The trees in this forest are weird, aren't they? I've heard sometimes they smile wickedly. I'll tell you, if I see a tree smiling, I'm going to run in the opposite direction. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is Snow White Scary Adventures all over again. Hi there. Darn it. No first strike for me. Oh yeah! Piranha plants appear here. This is a piranha plant. Piranha plants pop out of the ground at unexpected moments, so be on your guard. Max HP 5, attack power 3, defense power 0. You've seen them in every one of your adventures, so I imagine you know them pretty well. Their sharp jaws point upward, so you'll get bitten if you try to jump on them. They smile after biting people. That smug smile it makes me hopping mad. Alright, do I have any good items against these guys? Ooh, shooting star. You know what? Yeah, we'll use a shooting star. We get a lot of money from it. Goodbye. Only stu two star points apiece, though. I told you I was over leveled. Okay. That's the one! This is the mushroom one. This is the mushroom one, indeed. Is it just my imagination, or is it getting darker? Are we going the right way? I'm getting a little worried. There seem to be a lot of strange glowing mushrooms around these tree trunks. Boy, they're everywhere. Must be an infestation. Kind of looks like one mushroom patch is slightly different from the others. My mind might be just be playing tricks on me, though. No, it's not. I was trying to get bumped bad, actually. Take that. Well, it's a good thing I got out bomb bet, is it not? I think I'll re refresh first, though, because I'm running a little low on FP. Oh, here you go, Mario. Wee <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Power bomb time! Nice thing is once... Like, the bomb meter fills up to 100%, you can stop pushing A. It won't drop down from 100%. Same goes for any other partner's attacks. Okay. So because there are all of those, that's the way you want to go. However, 
There's a crazy well-hidden secret if we go the opposite way. Yes, I kid you not. If we go through this way, it will not take us back to the beginning of the forest. Instead, see that beehive? Yep. This is a totally new area. So I can't remember if every tree has a beehive. And nope. So the one of the beehive is the one you go back from. And we get the HP plus badge. Yep, another one. Oh, thank you for all the flower points. I like. Alright, let's go back this way. There, take that. Man, we are fighting a lot of them, aren't we? Well, unless I cut out a lot of these battles or a lot of the walking back and forth through Toad Town, this might be a longer than average video. Tons of mushrooms go this way, and I believe this is the last screen right now. In Forever Forest, that is. Take that! The star points have really added up here. Ooh, double money! Actually, it might be a lot more than that. Wow, so many coins there was actually slow down. I love that. Hey, dude. <sighs> that was close. Yeah, you can see why I adore Bombette now. <laughs> Power Bomb is just so good. Oh wait, this is not the last screen. I forgot. Oh, okay. Refresh time. I have not shown off Lullaby because I prefer refresh, believe it or not. In your faces! Besides, I'm close to a level up and a heart block, so I am not concerned. Money, money, money. Okay. For this pathway, you actually have to go up to the bushes and press A. Most of them will just fall off. Except those, so that means this is the right way. This should be the last screen. Hi, Fuzzy. Yuck. Uh, we get a ton of maple syrup, so yeah, I'll just drink straight maple syrup. I really don't want to have to deal with this without power bomb. <laughs> yeah, you go, Bombette. One of my favorite video game female protagonists. Okay. So, if you have business at Boo's Mansion, come this way. However, there's another secret over this way. Laughing Rock, that you have to go up and press A to. How you would figure that out? Without more Lovely's hint? I don't know. Alright. So, we have to pass two gates to get back. And, this gives us another FP Plus badge. Trust me, there's nothing worth getting over there. It's just enemies. Alright, and on that note, we have finally arrived at Boo's Mansion. Ooh, spooky. Oh, the save box have stars in them. I have literally have never noticed that before. That's pretty cool. Oh, finally! I couldn't stand being in that spooky forest another minute. Hmm? Mario, I'm positive that's the mansion that creepy old ghost was telling us about. Right you are, Bombette. Right you are. Ooh. 
Welcome, sirs and madam. I'm pleased you made it through Forever Forest. Man, he even acknowledges Bombette as a madam. We'll talk about a polite ghost. My master awaits you in the room highest up in this lovely mansion. Please go to the third floor. There you will hear all the news of the Star Spirits. Couldn't we have just done it in the first floor? I'll see you there. Slow disappearance. Alright, that is where we're going to leave it for this episode. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. I really hope to see you for the next episode of Paper Mario. Hit that block, Mario. Hit that block. Have a great day, and God bless.